Good afternoon. How you doing? As you can see, I got the Jeep backed out of its normal spot here in the garage. Got it backed up a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> kind of went over the Jeep. Well, it didn't kind of. I did go over the Jeep the other day, about three days ago. Going to do the first mod to it, the first modification. And it is going to be, turn on my little flashlight here so we kind of, since I have it in the garage. You can see I got my beach towel laid down. Uh, so we're going to take out, there we go, that plastic piece. Just a piece of molding, it's for looks, really has no function. And it's on the JL models, the Sport Sport S. Uh, gonna take it out. And I'll get down here. The, there we go, the plastic. It's got a plastic brush guard. Uh, we're gonna give ourselves a couple of inches of clearance there also. And also, if you do this, a uh, couple things. It's going to give, these are factory tires. And you can see with this plastic piece, and I measured it on the last video the other day, it's two and a half inches. And even with the stock tire, I mean, this is a little flashlight, little, any of you that have, have a Olight S1R2 baton, that's what it is. But it, there's really, with a tire turned, factory tire, there's not a lot of room there. And uh, on my first Jeep, this is the third one on the first one, I had 285 7017s put on. And it barely, when I turned the wheel, barely would clear. And I really didn't take it off-roading on trails too major after I got those tires put on. Second Jeep, now remember the first Jeep had 285 7017s. Second Jeep, and I did a video on it to where I took these off. Took them off, I put 295. These come from the factory with 245, 75. Uh, there we go. 245, 75, 17. So I went up to 295. I went up five tire sizes, but I took this piece out and it had plenty of clearance. So that's what we're going to do today. Now this plastic brush guard that I showed you, to get these off, you have to take that off anyways. Now you can put it back on, when we're done, I'll show you the diamond steel plate that's under it, which I really, really like. So when you step back, I know it's dark in the garage here, uh, but when you step back, you can kind of see it hanging down. Uh, nevertheless, to get on with the show, if you will, uh, I personally think it looks a lot better with those out, especially when you upgrade on your tires. Once again, it's free, and this is all it takes. I've just got the light here, so when I crawl under there, hopefully we can get a little bit of footage of it. It takes a seven millimeter, eight millimeter screwdriver and a rivet popper. That's what I'm gonna call it. I got that, uh, let's see what's officially called. I got a pack of, pack of them, pry bar, installation kit, whatever. I got a four piece at uh, Harbor Freight for like six, seven bucks. So if you do not have one of these, uh, if you don't have one, you can use a flat hat screwdriver. That's, I did not have that when I did the, uh, took those off on the last Jeep. Uh, so if you don't have it, a flat head screwdriver will do. That is it, that's all the tools it takes. So I'm gonna crawl up under the Jeep and we'll catch you then and show you what we do next. Okay, we're under the Jeep. That's the plastic brush guard, which really just goes back to there. All you're gonna do, I've got my little tool. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, I believe there's eight. So we're gonna just take this and I'll just do the one here in the middle. Kind of hard to do by holding the camera. Grab it from the other side. 
since I've got the camera on it. There we go. That's it. I'll get a little container to put those in. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pop these out and uh, I won't put you through the boring task of me going through all of them. I'll put the camera down, GoPro down so I can actually get up there. And this may, last time I did this, I did it with a just a flathead screwdriver. It may be easier with a screwdriver. There we go. You get the point. Take these out and then, where are they at? There is your eight millimeter. Uh, that's your eight millimeter. Once you get the rivets out, you got an eight millimeter there, eight millimeter socket there, the plate will come off. So I'm going to proceed to take these out and see in a bit. Okay, we're back. Got all of the plastic rivets out. Got them there on the ground, got it sideways there. So this is the eight millimeter. Simply gonna take it out. We'll do the same over here. And we should be good to go to get this plastic uh, brush guard off. Okay, so to get the piece, this piece out, the molding, you can see I've got that one started. There's about seven little bolts in there, seven millimeter. We're gonna take those out and that should about do it. So let me get these once again. You've got about one, two, three, four, four or five of these. I'm gonna get those out, pop this out. Okay. We have got, there's the, which it's been off for a little bit. That's your plastic piece under there. Six bolts go to this. So if I've got all the bolts out, and I believe I do, some of them were a pain, let me rephrase that. They're all easy to get to. Just some of them didn't want to come out easier than others, but nothing super, super bad or nothing. So hopefully this will come off. Take a look. There we go. Just had to make sure there's Aha. Uh -huh. I may have to crawl up under there and see. We'll just keep this going so you guys can find out why it's not coming off the same time I will. Uh, see if I could tilt this up. We'll try that. Uh. Don't know how well you're probably seeing the golf cart, but. It looks like. Oh, I did miss a bolt. I missed one. Right. Oh, it's right there. Don't know how well you can see that, but you gotta get a bolt out, be back. Okay, that was it, there was seven. Now, once you get the seven bolts out, you can see it's just hanging here. So, if you could see right there, the wiring for your fog lights is right there. So right above the plastic 
piece, it's got a little zip tie. So, I won't be able to do this and film it, but uh, right up in there. So I'm gonna take these cutters and just cut the zip tie. And it should come down. I'll just leave the camera running. Ugh. Need my flashlight here. So I can see. Actually, I might need to go above. Let me go up above here. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. If I can get a good grasp on it. It was just hard to see from my angle. I probably should have came at it from a different angle. It is off. Everything's still intact. So we're going to do the same process on the other side. I won't bore you with the details and then we'll see the finished product. Okay, it is done. Get my little work light out here. All right, I'm going to turn it off. Got everything going making sure all the fog lights work, and they do. Let me turn this off. All right, so there's a couple of the pieces in the floor. That last piece, uh, as far as the wire on this side, the passenger side, when you take out the molding there, it has some of the fog light wiring just zip tied to it. And I couldn't hardly see it. I was trying to film, get my light set, but all you gotta do is just snip it and it comes right off. This side, you don't have that. I guess it's a connector that's running over here. So with that being said, it is done. Uh, here's the steel plate. Up under it. If you can see it, probably should have pulled it outside, but looks so much better to me. Uh, 
There, you can get a better look of it. Of the steel plate. And then, of course, the fenders are now open. I sure appreciate y'all watching. Easy to do. It did take me longer than I thought. One quick suggestion, if you have a power drill to, for the bolts to get out, it'll save you a lot of time because those little bolts are long. But besides that, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching. Okay, I went ahead and pulled it outside so you can maybe see it a little better. And then there's your open. And now look at how much space you have. Tons of space. Absolutely have tons of space. There you go. Y'all have a great evening.